that could actually get us into the the updates I wanted to share too. Yo, let's get into let it. Me, yes, uh, let's do some updates. Let me share my screen. So this shirt, speaking of milestones, I bought this shirt when I was abroad in Tanzania in 2014. And while there, I met this guy. Share screen. Screen two. All right, you see him? Yes. All right. So this is my Facebook and um, family and all that there. But this this is Callistus. So um, my man Callistus. So he was the assistant principal when uh, I was a volunteer slash worker at this village school where I brought laptops and started this little computer club, this mm -hmm. computer um, program at this school. Wait, say again, where, where were you? It was in the interior of Tanzania, not far from the city of Iringa. Okay. But a, a, a smaller little village outside there. And uh, Callistus uh, was the assistant principal. And over the years, and recently, I think more because of COVID than anything, he no longer is at the school. And he wrote me, and when you make friends with people there, it's common. Um, I've heard this from several, several people who've been there. You know, people will, they think, you know, they know you're American and they, they, they know like, can you help us out? Can you help us out? Like, we, you came here to help us. You brought computers. Maybe you can bring something else. So, so you get asked for help. Mm -hmm. And and he reached out and said, hey, I'm starting a, a, a small business. Usually you don't get that. Sometimes people yeah. just say, hey, can you help? But he's like, hey, I'm starting a business. And um, I'm just simply going to buy corn from the village and sell it in the city. Mm -hmm. So I reached out to some friends and I said, hey, can we get him a little seed money? No pun intended. Pun intended. And um, we actually ran it through the foundation, the Periphery Foundation, and uh, took the money and ran it through there and, we, and wired it over to him. And he started last fall and now he sold a bunch and then he bought more with the profits and with the proceeds. In addition to feeding his family, he's got a wife and a daughter. And then he uh, bought another bunch and sold that. Then it was the rainy season in the spring. And now he's on his third um, rebuy nice. of, 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 of corn. And so I'll hear from him maybe once a month or so. And he wrote to me saying, hey, I'm doing well, Brandon. I just finished the first load of 1,000 kilograms. This was the first load of this third rebuy. So yeah. he'll have another 1,000. I have already taken the second round load. Now I'm selling. By now, no other problems. Business is going on well. So I haven't made a video about this on the channel, but I've put it in the community tab. So I just wanted to share that with people. Yeah, nice. And then I wanted to share uh, one more update, and that's this. Okay. And Paul, Paul, you, 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 you'll find this interesting. Um, yeah, that's about our usually live. Right? What we do. Have you heard of? Uh, lad bible i thought that was saying unlaid i was like it says uh, uh <laughs> <laughs> my you know i guess it would have you moved the eye over yeah it's uh, just kind of my, my you know your, your brain kind of decodes the thing before it really sees it but okay unilad adventure yeah so so lad bible lad bible like bible for lads and this is an english thing this is over in britain okay where it's like uh, college guys, you know, Hey, let, let's do a, it's sort of like Maxim or I don't know, sports okay. illustrated. It's sort of like a, a, a network for, for, for guys. Wait I, a minute. Like did, did you just, did you just compare this to Maxim? Well, not this. So, so instead of the scantily clad, beautiful 21 year old models, what, what is their version of that? Uh, more, more of the audience I was getting at. Uh, Okay. The okay. audience, like college guys. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, so, so that's where lad comes from and, and they're known okay. as lad Bible and they're huge. Like this is a small subsidiary uh, channel called you and a lad. And, 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 and maybe I was wrong with the lad Bible being about college age because you and a lad university lads. Okay. okay. Right. So that's, that's college. I, I forgot uh, okay. what straight up lad Bible is. Maybe it's just for dudes. I don't know, but um they're they're really large like they've got millions of followers on all their different social media yeah. and they get tons of views and this is uh unilad and this is unilad adventures so it's okay. even more specified yeah and um unilad has 7.7 .7 million people 
14 of my friends did, and I didn't even know, I didn't even know about this. Um, anyway, they reached out to me and said, Hey, we found your bill video and we'd like to feature it. Yeah. So they took the video, they edited it down to about five minutes and it's basically bill three yeah. that you and I did. And, um, they just kind of said, Hey, uh, like Unilad adventures, right? So it's all about yeah. going on adventures around the world. So check out this dude and how he lives in Arkansas. And they didn't say too much about you and me, but they just said, yeah, uh, this was like, we're in the video anyway. Okay. So, but this is there in there. In, you said England or London. What'd you say? Yeah. They're in England. Huh. Um, this is their Facebook page. And they just took our video with Bill, which I think was about 20 Look minutes. That, that line, the, the, the clip you, you paused it on is kind of funny. I got three of them gone, my big toe gone. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that about Bill, man. I did too. I did too. Because um, he got cause fingers he, missing. All he lost that. three fingers because of sawmill. Yeah. He's the real deal. They, they, they took our video, dude, and they, uh, in fact, there we go. Fact, watch this. Uh, Hold on. Hey, that... I'm, I'm across the. Oh, right at the end. Nice. That's great. Yeah, they used the music that we used. Um, yeah, it's better. Usually live, better. Anyway, so. Yeah, that's really you, you cool. You featured on Unilad Adventures, man. Boom. Yeah, dude, that's pretty cool. Making our way across the across the pond. Yeah, you know, like yeah, it's better usually live. Better. Bill's across the pond on his own on our YouTube channel, but mm -hmm. now yeah, to have yeah. a now to have a, a huge media come kind of pick him up like a crane and yeah. move him over there under their umbrella and their audience. Yeah. So this video got one hundred and forty eight thousand views. How long has this been, dude? It's been up since only July seven. It's been a little over a week. It's just. Yeah. They're, they have they're 7 really million popular. people, what you said, 7 million uh, 7. people? 7 million people follow this page on Facebook wow. and 148,000 views. Only 62 comments, but I read some of them and it's like, I think most of them are not Americans. Do you think and, that um, they've won any of the other videos? Ah, they they said that um, they, um, yeah, like if there's, mm, I suppose, as far as Unilad Adventures, if there's another travel thing, maybe Bill Four, and and this might be an opportunity to to mention that we're, we're talking about Bill Four. Yes. Um, we have some ideas up our sleeves that mm -hmm. we'll keep we'll keep in our sleeves for now, in our Tanzanian shirt sleeves for now. <laughs> um, but they're good. They're yeah. good. In fact, people who voted on our poll on our channel will know the kinds of ideas we're mulling over because mm -hmm. there was one clear winner in the poll and i'll just go ahead and say that so i asked what what, what we're going to do a, a bill for but what kind of video do you want it to be do you want it to be where i just go back and we, we we just interview bill and joe and see how they're doing do you want us to do something with bill and joe specifically like go fishing or something do you want us to get to know bill and some of the neighbors around there or how about we take Bill and bring him into the city instead of us going into the country with him? Hmm. And then I left like a fifth option for fill in the blank with whatever you want. And about half the people said, take him to the city. So what city, uh, which city, what will we do in the city? Uh, those are the things that Paul and I are talking about right now. And, and, and I think I'm voting for Bill in New York City. You know, like <laughs> I think that'll yeah. be the... Hey, you know what? If I had the budget of, if we had the budget of Unilad, then maybe. But um, as as it is, we might have to find one a little closer to closer to Bill. I thought about cities that are in the area, though, like Dallas yeah. or OKC or smaller cities around there. Yeah. Fort Smith is really close to him, but I think that might be a little too small. So yeah, uh, any familiar with that town? So we'll um, I don't know. We'll figure that out and take him to Atlanta. <laughs> That's what the players play. And they ride on them things like every day. <laughs> like every day. Like every day, man. I was actually listening to uh to uh Walk Up to Atlanta, uh the song today, the remix. Uh it came on oh, at work that? and I, I just, you know, 
I, I had it on repeat for. I love that. Um, let me, that's um, good. Okay, so you've got you got one other update, right? Yeah. Let Let me share this. Yes. Um, I wish I could make the screen bigger and and here we go. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay. They don't give us anything we don't need to see now. I know people are gonna be looking at my other private stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, that's um, what I'm looking. I might have to blur it out. Anyway, Carrie, West Virginia, Carrie. West Virginia Carey, she got back. And since there's no illustration here to show, I might as well just stop sharing. And I'll just read it to you guys. So she says, um, well, first she accepted my friend request, which I first made last January when we went to see her. Mm -hmm. And, you know, February, March, April, May, nothing, nothing. nothing. Well, yeah. Carrie's being Carrie, doing her thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and then she, it's funny. So Every time we have a board meeting for our nonprofit, the Periphery Foundation, I mentioned Carrie because the money we gave her is through the foundation. And um, so I mentioned to them just an update. I'm like, well, there's not much to update this time. She's, you know, we haven't talked and I haven't heard yeah. about her or anything. Well, the very next day I get a message. Carrie has accepted your friend request. <laughs> I'm like, hey, Carrie. Yeah. So then I message her and I think, hey, uh, you know, maybe, maybe she's available. And she messages me right back. And, oh hey, you know, good to see, mm -hmm. good to connect. Da, da da da. So I says, so, so the things to report here that 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 I want people to know is, one, she gave half the money to the guy. She, well, one, she's still living in that trailer in in yeah. Rand. Okay, so that's the first good thing, even though the trailer wasn't the best, nicest home. The fact that she's got stable housing is actually a a, a good step. So she has stable housing there and she took half the money we gave her of the thousand and gave it to her her friend who takes care of her there and it sounds like he's a good guy from what i know um i'm not sure if she's kind of like a homekeeper and um so she gave him half the money for you know more than he, he's you know that's it's, it's not enough probably from what he's owed but he sounds like a good, a good friend yeah so she gave him half the money and i'm just, and 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 uh, i don't know what you do with the other half i hope it wasn't spent too bad i don't think it was because she says that her her drug use has has dropped a lot. So she was very open about her meth use. Um, and I know all the mm, taboos around meth and all that is awful and it is. Mm -hmm. But she, she was a she was a user man. I mean, she just lived yeah. with as part of her life. Um, well, now she said she's only done it three times. And, and I know it's meth. So it's funny to talk about moderating meth like it's not usually something one does but she says she's done it three times in the past month and she used to do it every day so if yeah, she's true in what she said that's a big step forward so we hope that that's a good step in the direction for her the fact that she accepted my friend request mm -hmm. and the fact that she was messaging me and feeling social and not just being in her own little mm -hmm. drug dome you know in a little world of addiction yeah you know such a hard nasty drug like that she, she so she puts that aside and she's got a little bit more it frees you up it kind of allows you to connect to the world a little bit more yeah. and i think that explains the, the 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 connection of her and i and 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 the long exchange that we had um she said she hadn't been in touch with her kids yet but hopes to do that and then um the very next day in fact it wasn't even 24 hours later it was in the middle of the night she she writes me this Brandon, I know it's 3.30 a.m. I just had to let you know my daughter, Lily May, just contacted me. I cried. I haven't talked to her in over two and a half years. I think this is the first time I have cried in about four years. Wow. That's really cool, man. Yeah. Coincidental, too. Like, yeah. her daughter reached out to her the day after Carrie first reached out to us, to, to me on, on Facebook, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, that's that's really neat um yeah, yeah so no, that is cool really about that and i just said that's wonderful um and you know as her story develops hopefully for the good yeah. we'll 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 cover it as much as she's interested in having it covered so maybe she wants a video where she's with her daughter maybe she yeah. wants a video where she's got her first job after a long time maybe she wants to Whatever it is, whatever, whatever it is, yeah. um, or maybe she's struggling, but whatever it is, she's interested or, or willing to have covered, we'll we'll do our best to do so. So we've got Bill Four coming up, but also perhaps Carry Three, and hopefully mm -hmm. it's a it's a it's it's a step in the right direction. If nothing else, know that she's going in the right direction with her life today. 
Well, that's good. So three, three updates and three positive updates. So that's, that's good. Yeah.